Istanbul Symbols. They only came onto the scene in the early 1980s, but their history and the way they make symbols can be traced directly back to the now fabled K Zildjian factory in Turkey. The co-founder Agap Tomarchuk was born in 1941 and lived in Samatya, Turkey, where the K factory was located. And by the time he was old enough to work with molten metal, he was mentored by none other than Mikhail Zilchan, the grandson of Karapi Zildjian, and also by master symbol maker Ingeliz Kirkor, eventually becoming one of the chief symbolsmiths himself at the factory. When the K factory closed down in 1977, Agat found himself out of the only job he'd ever known. But rather than quit, he decided to track down and purchase some of the equipment and tools from the closed down factory and began making the symbols with his wife, Yusqui, in a small rented workspace, eventually opening a small factory and hiring his older brother, Oxant, as master symbol maker. In 1980, he partnered up with his friend and fellow K Zildjian factory worker Mehmet Temjer and established Zildjian Collective, translated means Symbol Maker Collective, and produced symbols under the brand name Zildjian. They soon changed the name to Istanbul. By 1982, they were already starting to export symbols to the United States and made their first appearance at the NAM show in Anaheim, California. Legendary drummer Mel Lewis was the first to recognize the similarities between their symbols and the old K's and declared they are back to imply the original hand hammered symbols for which Turkey was famous have returned. Both of Agop's sons, Sarkis and Arman, joined the company over the next few years with Sarkis eventually taking over as master symbolsmith after Oxant retired. In 1996, Agop died in an accident, and his son split with Mehmet Temjer and started the Agop Istanbul brand, where they are currently co-presidents, while Mehmet established Mehmet Istanbul. They legally share the Istanbul name and logo, but are two completely separate businesses with only their history in common. The three symbols I have here today, a 22-inch traditional jazz ride, A 20 inch 30th anniversary series ride. As the name suggests, this line came out in 2010 to celebrate their 30th anniversary. The intent was to make them a limited run, but due to their popularity, ended up becoming part of their ongoing line of symbols. A 21 inch Agop signature series. These were symbols that Agop was working on developing when he passed away. His sons obtained his notebook detailing the ideas for this series and used it to develop them. Agop Istanbul currently has over a dozen series of symbols and over 150 endorses. Their factory and headquarters is still located in Istanbul. They also have an office in Los Angeles, California.
If you enjoyed this short bit of drum history and the sound of these cymbals, please hit the like button. Also, let me know which one you like the best and why. Thank you so much for watching.